They prayed for peace on this Christmas day. Iraqi Christians, Assyrians who now call the Bay Area home, but their hearts still break at news of the continuing violence, like the latest suicide bombing in Iraq. What's going on? Um, of course, everybody's suffering, but we as Christians, I think we are suffering most. Christians are the minority in Iraq. In America, they are our close community. They built their churches, they share holiday meals. And their support for the American troop surge and hope life could return to normal for the families who fled in fear to other countries. Retired school teacher Samira Hermes. We are praying for the day that there will be security and some of them are coming back. We saw a caravan of buses going back and it's really happy for us that, that it's getting under control. War politics can be a struggle for Iraqis who are also now Americans. I don't know if, if uh, the whole our stay in Iraq is working out, but I think from a political point of view and from, from especially for, for, the, for the Christian community in Iraq, uh, I really believe that they should be leaving sometime soon. But this day is not about talk of war and suicide bombings. Assyrian American children want Santa. There are Assyrians with American traditions. Here in the Bay Area, they number about seven to eight hundred, most of them living in the San Jose and Central California areas. Many still speak the ancient Aramaic language. They look forward to next year's American elections. They have their favorites. Obama from the Democratic Party, uh, Ron Paul from the Republican Party. These are the two that seem to offer something that is a little bit different and fresh. Hillary Clinton. I admire her as a woman. She went through a lot, but she knew how to handle it. Christian Iraqis thankful to be free in America celebrating Christmas. Merry Christmas! In San Francisco, Linda Yee, CBS 5.